Hi, guys. Welcome back to Finding Your Indie. I'm Bonnie Paulson. And I'm Andy Stevens. And we are here with another Monday Marketing Tips and Tricks. Today, we're talking about whether when you should be pausing your ads in AMS or in Facebook or anywhere else that you're running ads and the ways that we kind of gauge this before we just start turning ads off wherever we're running ads. Yeah. So I think it's important to know what your goal is when you're running your ads. I agree. I do too. What are some goals that we would hit? If you're running ads, what is your goal? Obviously to make money. I mean, but I might be running an ad to get newsletter subscribers. True. Or to run a promotion or to Mm -hmm. do like a cover test. A lot of people like to test their covers. I love doing that. There's yeah. Lots of reasons that you would be um, running ads. There's lots of them. Another one, if you're direct sales, would be getting conversions and purchases. That's different than running traffic ads to like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, even traffic ads to your own website. There's or lead gen ads. Like there's a whole bunch of different reasons and goals and end and I guess end points. You know, yes, I, right mm-hmm. end points for why you would run an ad and what kind of ads you would use for that. So that's what you first have to do is you need to identify your goal, like Mandy said. Right. So if I'm running a conversion ad, it's going to react differently than if I'm running a traffic ad. So they're going to have different goals. Exactly. So if I'm not, if I'm not getting sales, you know, within two weeks for a traffic ad, there's a problem. Mm -hmm, Exactly. But you have the conversion ad, it takes longer. Right. Exactly. You're right. And they do work in tandem. And another thing too, is like Mandy saying, if you are identifying what your goal is, and then you're, you're putting the steps forward, then you can actually question, okay, Mm -hmm. is this doing what I need it to do? If it's not, then you have it, you do, you, you, then you can identify, oh, there's a problem. Instead of just being like, I think my ads are working. Do you think my ads are working? I just got an email from a client. Are these ads working? And the ads are actually for newsletter subscribers. And I can't see the newsletter subs. So I have to say, I don't know, are they, is it working? Like, are you getting newsletter subscribers? Because that's what the goal was of this campaign. Right. Exactly. Sometimes I have to shoot an email. All right. Are you getting newsletter subscribers or (laughs) what are your sales on your, on your direct sites? Just so I know, because I'm running ads to those things, a lot of communication. So yes, a lot of different, a lot of different data points that we need to be gathering. Well, one of the first things that you want to do when you are Uh, starting ads, after you've identified your goals and stuff and you are starting your ads, you want to make sure that you are giving yourself breathing room. So you're not like when you're like, let's say you have a promotion and you are doing an ad, you want to run a bunch of ads for promotion that might run for, let's say two days. Um, When we have clients that come to us, at least I do this. I say, no, I'm not running ads for the two days that you're running the promo. I'm not doing it because it's not enough time there's, it has to get through review. Then it has to get through learning. Even if you schedule the ads ahead of time, you still have to get through. So you have the initial review and then it's like, oh yeah, it's going to be scheduled or it's running. But then after that, then it still has to go through it. Like it's like a jump review. And then it has to get through learning and learning, depending on the spend can take anywhere from one hour to 72 hours. I mean, we're talking sometimes things get stuck. You know, sometimes yes. things happen. I tell everybody I need at least five days. Yes, a five at least a five day promotion if you're going to be running ads to it mm-hmm. because that's that's logical. So you, you want to give work. yourself yeah. breathing room. We were going to talk about what learning means um, and how it's accomplished. So when you're learning inside AMS, it doesn't tell you that it's actually learning. It doesn't say learning phase or anything like that. It's just that's when it's gathering data. That's when it's actually reading the algorithms or reading the landing page to see if there's any activity there. Um, That's why whenever we say, hey, make sure you're triggering using other promotions and Facebook ads and stuff on your landing pages to Amazon so that before you start your AMS ads, so that your AMS ads are triggered. And so your landing page needs activity. And then it needs to start it starts to test, oh, where are we going to be? Where is this going to be best? Where is this going to go best? That's why $5 auto um, auto ad would is great to start with. I don't suggest living in auto ads, but starting there, just kind of getting them going. It's a great way to jumpstart your ads in AMS. But Facebook, uh, when you're learning in Facebook, it's a little bit like, so Facebook specifically says it needs 50 events to happen. So 50 clicks or 50 purchases or 50 add to cart or 50, whatever you have going on in order for it to have data. And it's attribution time is seven days. So what you want to do is you want to get, for instance, purchases need to happen in seven days. So if you're going to have 50 purchases, 
then you need to hit it in seven days. You're going to ramp up your spend. However, if not, let's say it's traffic ads and you're trying to hit that 50s, you might get that if it's a $5 a day spend, you might get it over the course of two to three days, depending on what your CPC is. If your CPC is low, you're going to hit it a little bit faster. If your CPC is high, you're going to hit it later. And the learning just tells them, oh, okay, yep, these are, this is where we need to go. This is what this, we're in the right audience. We're not in the right audience. The audience is big enough. It's too big, whatever. And so we like to train our ads on learn them, uh, have them learning on Tuesdays through Thursdays because it's learning midweek pricing and activity. And then it carries that pricing and that cost over the weekend. And then you have like a seven day period to sit there and and watch it. So if you have a hundred dollar a day spend, if you are testing, I think that's kind of a rough place to be sitting when you're testing because a hundred dollars can get 50 touches in an hour. I mean, that's fast, right? Like that's, So hopefully you've started at the right time to get the right audience. Right. So how do you know if an ad needs more time or when you should pause it? Here at FYI, we go with a standard where the ad needs to be running. The campaign usually has multiple ads under one ad set. And usually what happens is we want to give it a week before we turn anything off. And by turning off, I just mean pause. We don't delete anything unless it's been rejected and we've pushed it through the review process and it's still getting rejected. Then we want to delete those ads as soon as possible because it's a security and an account measure thing, like it's protecting our accounts. But if it's been like, let's say seven days and we have 30 ads up and 20 of them haven't gotten any spent, meaning it hasn't been clicked at all. I don't look at impressions. I literally look at just spend. If it hasn't spent anything, those ads get get paused, period. That means Facebook isn't going to show them. It doesn't matter. You can force it. You're like, oh, this is the best ad. Facebook <laughs> bots have determined it is not going to work. Right. You're done, right? <laughs> like, I think that's right. And I love it when people are like, no, but this one has to work. And it's like, yeah, but Facebook has already said no. So yeah, Facebook doesn't like it. And Facebook is in control here. So (laughs) Facebook is in control. Now we could force it and you can do an ad just to that one, a campaign and ad set just to that ad, but it's going to cost you if Facebook doesn't like it. When I determine that an ad is going to need some more time, usually it's because I have to go in and I have to check how long has it been learning and $5 a day ads with some very niche down audiences. Like if it's between the one and 2 million range, it's not very big. So it might need a little bit longer to learn properly, but you do need to go in and kind of watch it. Is it learning still? Is it not learning? How much has it spent? And that's usually a good indicator of how long it's been in learning. How long, how much has it spent? Oh, it's only spent $30 and it's been up for a week or two weeks. Then it hasn't learned very much. So that's, that's how I know um, if an ad needs more time or not. Uh, Another thing is AMS. AMS is different than Facebook. So AMS will get 30 days. And, but remember, I don't do ridiculous bidding either. Mandy and I don't ridiculously bid. We keep it. A lot of people are bidding at $1.50 right now, which I think is absolutely ridiculous with our price points. It's yeah. gross. That's stupid. That's just not, that's not good. So we bid it low. We, bu- we boost them, we bump them so that they're learning faster and we give them 30 days. And then at the 30 day point is when we go in and we start to cull the ads. Okay. You're cleaning up. We're pro- pausing the, the keywords that aren't working well. We're culling the ones and making new ads based off of that data. So 30 days for AMS, seven to 10 for Facebook, five, five. I really like yeah. seven for the first round though. Cause it's gone through an entire week. Wouldn't you think Mandy, don't you go with a week? Yeah, I, I will. I do five to seven. It just depends when I get in there and see what's going on. Yeah, I, I agree. And I mean, the learning can happen faster sometimes. Sometimes it's just not very fast. So it's like, uh, I think we'll wait seven to eight, whatever. But yeah, there's that's like my sweet spot right in there is seven days. So I think that's that's like the most important thing. But outside of all this is when people go in and they're like, okay, it's spending money, but I'm not making anything. And it's kind of like, you don't know if you're not making anything yet. You don't know how long the ads are taking. So if you're direct, one thing I'm learning for sure with direct and that I've been doing a lot of research on the e-commerce side of things is Facebook needs to have those touches and needs to have those um, events happen in order for it to continue to train. So if you aren't, if you if you're spending $5 a day on a conversion ad, you're probably not gonna be, it's probably not gonna be doing very well. So you might not need to ramp it up to, 15 to 20 to 25 to 30, 30 seems to be the sweet spot for me to where I'm starting my ads, $30 a day. That's, and it's kind of hurt. It's like, Oh, this is expensive, <laughs> but, but then it you starts have to, to think long term. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. You have to think long term, but what happens is because normally it's like two to three weeks for mm-hmm. a learning on one of these. 
that's rough. And I've had to make some changes in the middle of my direct sale ads. And so it's like, great, that just restarted the learning. So anytime you make a change, it's going to restart the learning. And that sucks because that's all the cash gone now, because now it has to restart. So I feel like even though Facebook is, is like great and stuff for that, if you don't know your audiences already, which you can learn that by doing traffic ads to, you know, to Amazon and whatever, if you don't know your audience already and you're targeting, that might be where you want to start with some things. At least I would, at least that's what I would think. So I've been testing and I've got a couple clients that are direct and I've been testing with their, we already had an audience for their traffic to the main retailers like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Google, whatever. And I'm adjusting that audience to fit an e-commerce conversion style. And it's actually seems to be shifting kind of smoothly. And the time is a lot shorter. It's no longer three weeks. It's been like a week. So I'm hoping that's going to work. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So what we've learned here is hopefully you've learned that when you're going to pause, you want to make sure that your goal is is intact and you want to make sure you're sticking to your brand. And I don't know if you can have fun when you're testing. We like to, but if you can (laughs) have fun, And I hope that you learned something today on this Monday marketing tips and tricks and hit like, I hate this part, hit like and subscribe and comment. And we'll see you in our free Facebook group and all the things. So we will see you next time.